All right, here's the live stream of our race on the weekend. I'm here, and so is Paul. All right, what so up, what up? <laughs> All right, so here we go. You see just everyone clipping in. We're at the front. We've got some guys at the back that are about to get dropped already. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. I, you might, If you've seen the other video, you'll know Paul just absolutely hits it on the front, uh, and everyone gets dropped. So I think we're just going to talk about, like, I don't know, how people get dropped. Yeah, we can also talk about what the plan was. Yeah, so what was the plan? So the plan was I sit on the front, and then you just hold my fucking wheel all the way to the top. Yeah, and that, it worked pretty well, to be honest. Make you go as fast as possible. Yeah, I was dying at the end a lot, but apart from that, you can see these guys at the back, they've got no chance of holding on already. Um, this is literally like 200 meters into the race, and it's already been completely blown apart. Yeah, I was Charlie's cleaning lady. <laughs> on his cheek. Look at everyone, is literally out the back already. We've got a couple of blokes who think they're going to be able to hold on, but it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't look that promising to be honest yeah like look at the gaps happening already everyone i think everyone was very confused like they didn't have no idea this was going to happen yeah and there were no dopers here today yeah so zero, zero prize money equals zero dopers so. yeah it was good there was uh, no <laughs> one who was like you saw and you're like oh there's no way i'm going to beat him so you can see jason there's already losing the wheel and already we've just got three people pretty much on the front you can see paul's out the saddle i think we're doing like 460 watts there or something on the wheel so. yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> here we go this is entire footage this footage is very interesting uh, sorry about that way it's filmed the wrong way, but you can see this guy on the Giant TCR Gold Edition. He's only been riding for eight months, but he's a pretty solid, solid rider. You seem to know the riders quite well. Yeah, well, I've, uh, he was talking to Jason, apparently. Uh, so Paul's on the front, just absolutely drilling it. Um, and this everyone else behind is just absolutely crying. String the cunts up. Yeah, basically. Um, so you can see, it's like at the, at the beginning, everyone looks pretty relaxed. No one looks like of us three. Then. No one looks that tired, but behind a lot of people were like dying already but now it was good it was a good race uh so when do you think what do you think people do think about when they get dropped though because like a lot of people got dropped very early on so you mean like what's the mindset yeah like, what is the mindset to not get dropped fuck i'm just gonna hold on a little bit longer and you hold on one inch at a time mate. yeah <laughs> one little bit at a time but i think the thing is when it's so early on like this guy here it's like so early on he looks like he's gonna get dropped like all these people it must just be yeah, you just got to be present in the moment. Yeah. Just focus on holding that wheel. Nothing else matters. So. Yeah, I think it's easy to get overwhelmed when it's so early on in the climb. You're like, oh, there's no way I can hold the wheel. It's like everyone else is hurting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> some people are hurting more than others, but like, it's still. You can see these guys behind there. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. To be honest, they must have just been so surprised. It's like, what the hell is going on to this race? <laughs> 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 they thought it was just going to be a little cruise up the door with a little sprint at the end, but nah, it was getting strung out from like minute one. Uh, and all the tyres next to us, we actually got one bloke who tried to like keep up with us for a bit, which is pretty funny. Um, like, nah, it was such a good race. Uh, and one of those races where like, it literally was the strongest person won, like there's no, there's no tactics really on this one. Yeah, I mean, you've got a 6% gradient climb. <laughs> the only place where you can really get some solid draft is on the flatter sections on the corner. Like yeah. Sometimes we do go like over 25 k's an hour on the uphill slope, so you yeah. can still get a bit of drop. Um, Charlie is a bit of a smaller man, so it, it helped him even more. Yeah, it was good. Van Wheeler is a fat cunt. <laughs> He's a tall cunt, that's what he is. He's weighing 68 kilos, <laughs> too heavy. <laughs> too heavy with it. <laughs> but look, see there's a little surge going there, and that bloke has said cheerio, and there's only three now. Like you can see, that guy's trying to get across, but the problem is, if you think about it, he's got to do more watts than you, so it's like... It's pretty unlikely he's going to be able to get across that gap. Like, he's getting a bit of a draft, but, like, it's just... you yeah, just got to hold that wheel and get a good position. Like, if you started at the back, there was no way you were ever going to, like, hold on for more than, like, 10, 10 seconds. Uh, but the guy ahead of us, he's, he's, like, in between us at the moment. I thought he was going to hold on for a long time. He looked pretty comfortable. Like, he didn't, he didn't look obvious that he was struggling. Yeah, some people have a good poker face. I have an absolutely shocking poker face. My head's just bobbing all <laughs> over the place. Look, now you can see the head starting to bob from me uh, already. Uh, and it's you can see there's like gaps opening a little bit, but I don't know. It's not. It's like you can tell that everyone seems pretty comfortable. A lot of looking around. Like here we go. Paul puts in a, just a little dig, and that guy is just like looking back already. And you're just like, yeah, he's gonna get dropped now. I think there was another attack that was better than this one. Eh? Yeah, and there's another like, one later on where he really goes pop. Well, not an attack, but I mean just just, just, just a, a surge. Yeah, a just surge. a little surge. And, yeah. look, and then I, when I go around him, I just like try and make sure he doesn't. He can't hop on my wheel. Yeah, Charlie but. doesn't leave gaps. Sir. <laughs> Well, he tries not to, but he, he got uh, he got, he got gapped there a little bit while yeah. the dropping. Yeah, yeah. So he just swings around as quickly as possible and gets back on the wheel. You can see this Thai bloke on the back is uh, he's struggling, he, but he he's, he really like suffers at the end. You can see he, when, when he's about to get dropped, he's like absolutely dying. It's uh, it's good work from the young man. You can see he looks pretty relaxed actually on the back. Like he doesn't look like he's 
killing himself at this moment in time. Yeah, I actually spoke to this young man the other day. Well, it's probably about two months ago. It's the first time I'm meeting. <laughs> and he's like, you're porn, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, here though, you can see Paul didn't even like do anything. He just did a little like upping of the pace and this guy's just gone. Um, but I think the problem was, yeah, he kept on like sprinting to get back on and then getting too tired and stopping. Like now he like massively surges to try and yeah, get on. Yeah, he cuts the corner. Yeah. The last desperate measure to hang on. <laughs> it's working, though. It's yeah, working. It's, it's, he's managed to get back on. Look at him, though. He's just, like, he's just struggling on the back. You can see Paul's looking pretty comfortable, like, bobbing a bit, but, like, pretty relaxed. I just have my style of bobbing, but I was, like, pretty comfortable at this point. I knew I could hold it. Yeah, the bobbing was pretty funny there on the steep section at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Charlie. Come on, yeah. Go. <laughs> I know, it's a shame to have the camera on you. You would have just seen... Uh, you just see my head just bobbing so much. But around this corner, he's got back on. He's actually done a very good job, this man. Um, he's back. And, like, I don't know, he looked pretty comfortable. I was surprised that, um, when he got dropped because at this point, I was like, oh, he's on now. And this is, it starts to get a little bit flatter here. So I was like, he's going to get a decent draft. I guess the only thing is he's a bit tall, so he's not getting an insane. Yeah, I also draft. thought he would hang on to the end. Yeah. You kept looking around just seeing if it's like he's still on. And here goes a, a little dig. And you can see he's like gap straight away. Like, he can't close the gap straight away. It's like a classic sign if someone. It's a little bit fatigued. On the edge there. Yeah. I um, mean, his cadence could be a bit higher too. It looks like yeah. he's riding about 70 cadence. Yeah, I feel like though when you're really hurting, your cadence is so hard to get, like put it up. But here, look, he's sprinting to get back on the wheel, and this is just when you know it's all game over. I remember the TV people were shouting at him, trying to get him to like hold on. <laughs> he's like the sole tie representative. Yeah. They, want, they wanted him to do well. The ties love their homies though. Yeah, they do. I think they were really... Yeah, I think, yeah, we catch the junior bunch. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Some guy's man. got his dad with some spare wheels on the back. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, come on. But these guys, they were just chilling. They weren't really going very hard at all. I think there was one guy out the road for them, but... That was it. That guy got popped pretty... Just then. Like, it was weird. He just suddenly just went, yeah, that's enough. Like, it was, it's odd because, you know, you feel like he could have held on for, like, another maybe five minutes. Yeah, for just, sure. He's just had enough. And then that's it. Once you lose the wheel on this, it's like, you're not really going to get it back, to be honest, unless the ball completely blew up. But yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So there you go. There's the um, first part of the climb. Pretty interesting just seeing how everyone gets dropped and how, uh, really, to hold the wheel, you just got to be confident and just believe that you can do it and just think about that in the moment and not concentrate about anything that's going to happen. So cheerio, and I'll see you in the next vid.